You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Dia de los Muertos. And I don't know if you know this, uh, but it's actually a pretty big deal in a lot of a lot of American cities as well, starting to celebrate that kind of in their own Americanized way. So from the latinosland.com by Alfredo Galindo, he went and talked about Mexican film stars who have passed away, uh, whether recently or in the past, and how we commemorate them. Day of the Dead, the time to honor those who've departed before us, he says. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys. Bigger. Bigger? How's that? That's good. Okay. Um, who departed before us to go to the other side, just like the movies, the, the Book of Life, or the Academy Award winning film Coco. As the Mexican tradition tells, the loved ones come back to visit the shrine they built upon and decorated with pictures, food, and music they likened in the world of the living. To party on and be back recharged with love and joy to the world beyond. That said, we will honor the main Mexican stars who have left their mark in Hollywood. We deserve our honor and celebrate for this occasion. So these are these are actually Mexican uh, by birth, right? They're born in Mexico, or you know, um, right? Lived there, maybe like Anthony Quinn, then like kind of lived all over the world, but made their mark in Hollywood. Okay. Yeah. Anthony Quinn, born Antonio Rolafo Quinn, Oaxaca, the world knew him on the big screen as Anthony Quinn. He made history as the first Mexican actor to win not one, but two Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor in Viva Zapata and Lust for Life. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Did you, have you seen any of those films? Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah. I mean... You know, with Quinn, he he he's just always so so larger than life. You, you you watch even some of the films where he was like an older man. Even even in that that film was a walk in the clouds with Keanu Reeves. It was okay, but he was fantastic. Mm-hmm. He was hilarious. He was hilarious. And we even have a link into this uh in this article where we say make sure you catch actor Paul Calderon's tribute to Quinn as he remembers working with him on The Old Man in the Sea. Oh, cool. Now, let's move on to Cate Jurado. Cate Jurado, or Jurado. <laughs> <laughs> now, she may seem very familiar. Okay? She is the first Mexican actress to win Golden Globes in the Best Supporting Actress category in the classic Western High Noon. Of course I remember her in High Noon. Of course I remember her. Look at her. With Gary Cooper and Grace mm-hmm. Kelly. And Alfredo says, visiting her Hollywood Walk of Fame star a few years back, on the day she died, July 5th, 20, 2002, Hollywood Mayor Johnny Grant told me she was one of the greats. So you know what, 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 what some people will do is they'll create their altars. I have an altar, right? I, that's why I always see my flowers up here. I have always have a year-round altar. And if there's someone, like I have my grandmother's cross when she passed away a couple of years ago, I have it up here. Maybe I'll, sometimes I'll put up a, a photo of like, you know, uh, some some famous celeb that I loved back in the day. People will do that. They'll they'll, they'll take a photo of of, of Katie, of, of, of Anthony Quinn and put it in their, their altar. It's like more of a Hollywood celebrity altar, but it's still, that's how they do the, uh, do the, uh, uh, celebrating there. Okay. Cantinflas. Whoa. Nice. It's a big one. It's a big one. Born Mario Moreno Reyes. He became Cantinflas first in the in the itinerary Carpas. Big tents where the audiences went to see political but comedic sketches at the time. And then in the Mexican cinema before he crossed over to Hollywood on the side of British icon David Niven in the Academy Award winner for Best Picture, 1956, Around the World in 80 Days. He was the first Mexican actor to win a Golden Globe for Best Actor in the Comedy. Now, this is this is interesting. I didn't know that. He won over Yul Brynner, but mm. Yul Brynner won the Academy Award for the same King and I performance. Yeah. I didn't even know Cantinflas won a, was even nominated for for a Golden Globe, man. Much, it much, was much. huge, yeah. I heard that he, yeah, he he was big with even like Hollywood circles. Like a lot of people trying to imitate him. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ana Ophelia uh, Murguia, and she passed away last year. Mm. And, you know, Alfredo connected the tissue here with Coco. She was the voice of Coco. Mm-hmm. Uh, so American audiences will know her as the voice of Coco. But she's been around. She she was 100 when she passed away, right? Yeah, right. She was, she was up there, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she she looks amazing. She looks at me. And then if you see photos of her as a younger lady... Ooh. Good God, she was absolutely stunning. Uh, very much, yeah. I'll just say, you guys look her up as a young, younger lady. But you know, the thing is, she won five Ariel Mex- uh, Mexican equivalent of the Oscar awards, uh, including a honorary one of her uh, of her longtime career. She's known by wide audiences as Mama Coco in the as the grandmother in Coco. Um, pretty pretty extraordinary. And uh, like you said, she's done some, some, uh, she's worked in the um, foreign, you know, worked as a foreign actor in other films, uh, Gabby, a true story and one man's war with Anthony Hopkins. So we got one more and this, this, this one, this gentleman just passed away. Ernesto Gomez Cruz. I loved this actor in uh, some recent films that he's done. Uh, he just passed away this last April at the age of 90. Uh, long live you, uh, Ernesto Cruz. He's done movies uh, here in the States uh, since the 70s, including El Norte. Now, what I remember him recently is the string of movies he did with Luis Estrada in Mexico, where he played this just sinister drug lord in the film Infierno. Great role, man. And oh, God, he was not a nice guy. Uh, and uh, it was uh, it, w- it was it was something else, man. It was something else. You uh, have any memories of, of this gentleman at all? Uh, he was kind of one of those guys where, you know, you you seen him, you seen mm-hmm. him. Never, you know, it's kind of like a not a name. And yeah, stuff, big character but he, actor. Mm-hmm. It's character actor. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like you seen him and. And like everything, and yeah. especially you know, it's like you know when your, your parents you know would watch movies and stuff like that, and you're like, whoa, who's that? Yep. It's really good, you know. So yeah, it's it's crazy when when you see somebody so talented that they can blend into anything. You Absolutely. know, there were good guys, there were mid guys, there yeah. were like bad guys, and you're like, whoa, that that takes you know so much talent. So um, honoring the dead uh, as we do uh, here with Day of the Dead. Happening today and tomorrow. This is our article on Mexican film stars who made the mark in Hollywood. You can read that and more on the latinoslant.com. Mm-hmm.